Greetings from Harrisburg. I'm Andy Hoover, Legislative Director for the American Civil Liberties Union of Pennsylvania. Thanks for checking out this video update. Uh, you can see I'm dressed down, no suit today. It's not a session day. As a matter of fact, the day that we're filming this is Election Day, Tuesday, May 17th. But I want to give you an update on what happened last week here at the state legislature and what could be ahead next week uh, when the legislature comes back to session. Because to be perfectly frank with you, Last week was the week where it appeared that the dam was starting to crack on civil liberties here at the General Assembly. Let me start by talking about some of the bills, and then I'll sort of tie it together. I will tie it together uh, with a broader theme. First of all, House Bill 934 passed out of the House State Government Committee. This bill requires that all voters uh, show government-issued unexpired photo identification. We know from research that a significant percentage of U.S. citizens do not have Voter, or, excuse me, government-issued ID, and they are disproportionately racial minorities, the elderly, and the working poor. So this would actually disenfranchise people who are eligible to vote. That bill could be set up for a floor vote here in the next few weeks. Uh, in addition, abortion was in focus here at the state legislature last week. House Bill 574 completely rewrites the legal requirements for abortion clinics. Right now, abortion clinics have a long list of laws and regulations they have to follow. Uh, the Department of Health has a 16-page checklist they use for inspections. House Bill 574 rewrites the legal playing field. That bill did pass the House last week. Abortion was also in focus over in the Senate. In the Senate Appropriations Committee, Senate Bill 3 passed out of committee and is now poised for a floor vote. SB 3 uh, prohibits insurance companies from covering abortion when they participate in the insurance exchanges created by health care reform. This is a radical new step backwards uh, for women in Pennsylvania as insurance companies for the first time would not be able to cover uh, abortion care, including when women spend their own money. Uh, in addition, House Bill 815 is about ready for a House floor vote as well. It's had second consideration and it was voted out of the House Appropriations Committee. This bill criminalizes sexting by teenagers, including in situations that are potentially protected by the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Uh, expression that's protected uh, by the First Amendment, and it overcriminalizes kids for basically being clumsy uh, with their sexual behavior. So I want to think about those bills, I want you to think about those bills, and I want to talk about this in a broader context. Think about the communities that are impacted by these bills. Racial minorities, ethnic minorities, women, children, the elderly, people living in poverty. I forgot to mention there are some immigration bills that are about ready for a Senate floor vote as well. All of these communities are marginalized. They are voices that are limited here at the state capitol. And the only way we're going to have an impact and protect those folks who are vulnerable to having their civil rights violated is if you contact your state legislator, your state rep, and your state senator. They have to know that they have constituents who care about these issues. We have a lot of information on these bills on our legislative webpage, aclupa.org slash legislation. Uh, and we also have a tool there that you can find your legislator and find their contact information so you can use that uh, to get in touch with your state rep and your state senator. These are bills that pose serious dangers to uh, civil liberties here in the state of Pennsylvania. The immigration bills were Senate Bill 637, which mandates all state contractors to use E-Verify, and Senate Bill 9, which mandates all people applying for public aid to use government-issued photo identification. Not really an immigration issue from our perspective, but it is from the supporters' perspective. We know that people living in poverty don't have that type of aid, or have that type of ID. So, we have a lot on our plate here, and next week has the potential to be really wild with a lot of bills the ACLU cares about. So I want you to take action, and of course, as always, please support the ACLU of Pennsylvania. Uh, you can go to our website and make a donation as well. So thank you for checking out the video update. We've got a lot to do here at the State Capitol, but if you're there supporting us, if you take action, I think we can make a lot of progress. Thanks for checking this out. We're here at the State Capitol because freedom can't protect itself.